Well, you can always expect things to get a little bit intense when Robin Lopez goes face-to-face with a mascot. Some antics between Rumble the Bison and Robin Lopez tonight. But the guy who brings the intensity every night for the Thunder, Kenrich Williams. Let's hear from him. Kenrich, can you... You gave the team such a boost there in the fourth quarter. Can you sort of talk us through that and just the, the mindset to to win those fourth quarter minutes? Yeah, uh, just pretty much just wanted to come out and give us a spark. Uh, I know we needed something uh, both on both sides of the ball. Uh, and, I, and I figured just go out there and just do what I do, play hard, um, try to apply pressure, and, and hopefully it's contagious, and it was, so. What did you think of uh, Mark being kind of right on the spot, calling that timeout and, and challenging that foul on Mobley? Uh, I wasn't I wasn't for it at first. Uh, at first, because I, I feel uh, I feel different. I feel otherwise. But uh, man, it was successful, and, and uh, I think that was a, that was kind of a game changer for us. Uh, it was a momentum shift for us uh, for the game. Aaron Wiggins is talked about kind of looking to you as um, a, a great example not just of you know play style but just professionalism everything like that what's it like for you to see a guy like him really in his second year um, understanding himself on the floor and, and how he can impact winning I mean it's great man it's great to see um, that I can help out some uh, somebody like Wiggs uh, I, 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 let, I let him know all the time that uh, in, in my second year he he He's much more advanced than, than I was in my second year, just as far as uh, IQ and, and knowing how to play off guys. Uh, so that's a huge advantage for him, and uh, I'm, I'm super proud of him. Uh, me and John was just talking about how, how we're 8-0 when, when he starts, so, uh, man, he must be doing something right. And then um, so how about uh, Shea tonight continuing? I mean, he does this every night, but... Um, get into the spots that he needs to get to and just kind of keeping that that scoreboard chugging along the way that he did yeah man uh he's a superstar in the making um am i no he's he's a superstar in my eyes uh uh we trust him down the stretch we trust him i mean throughout the whole game but especially in the fourth uh you know he 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 carries a load for us and uh super super happy to be be on on shay's team Andrew Select with the Athletic. Mark had you in at the center in the fourth quarter with Allen and Mobley in there. Yeah. Does that get you excited at all to like like get you juiced up to to play against like such a big lineup, like one of the bigger lineups in the league? Uh, I wouldn't say excited, but but uh man, I'm ready to go whoever, uh whoever it is, pretty much, man. It could be the tallest tallest guys, the biggest guys, or the the smallest guys. I'm just ready to go whenever my number is called. And uh, man, pretty much just want to go out there and compete and do it, do it for my team. And then the crowd got into it in the fourth quarter. These are the crowds that seem to be getting a little bigger as the season goes along. Yeah. Um, what has that been like for you guys as a group? It's been great, man. Uh, the fans have been incredible uh, all year long. In my eyes, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, us winning games, uh, it, we're going to draw more attention. Uh, we know that. And, uh, you know, the more people we have here, I think it's the better because uh, we have the best fans in the league. So uh, super, super advantage for us.